guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing my Amazon favorites, my Amazon must-haves. I started watching Amazon favorites from Alexandria Garza and I was totally addicted. I would order so many things that she would talk about, like just lifestyle favorites. I find myself watching more of like lifestyle Amazon favorites because for makeup, I pretty much get it at Sephora, the drugstore, department stores, but for like lifestyle favorites, Amazon is where it's at. I'm definitely a Prime member. I've been a Prime member, I feel like since 2011. 11. I checked back to see like when was my first order 2011 and it was for textbooks in college So I've definitely been ordering for a while Amazon is a place where you find things that you didn't know you needed But make your life so much easier. I'm all about making my life easier So whatever's gonna help me in that I will gladly spend my money in whatever's gonna help like make my routine easier Whether it's for traveling or for the home I'm always thinking of like inventions or things like oh I wish I had something that did this and then I go on Amazon and it exists so totally an Amazon addict. I'm currently getting over a cold and it is currently 11 p.m. So if you hear that my voice is a little bit different, that's why. This first favorite I actually mentioned in another video. I believe it was a favorites video, but it is the mirror that I travel with. This has come so in handy. So basically it's a light up mirror. I have my cable connected to it because you can basically power it up either via this cable, which it comes with, or you can put batteries in the back, which I've been too lazy to do, but I totally should because this does get a little bit annoying. I mean, it is a long cable but you can plug this in I usually plug this into like a Mophie because when I'm sitting down doing my makeup there's usually not like an outlet that's free nearby so you can plug this in just to like you know the little Apple block or just any USB pretty much even to your laptop I've even plugged it into my laptop in a pinch so this is a stand-up mirror you can stand it up however you'd like so for example I have my Mophie here I would basically just plug it in and I personally like using a lot of light when I do my makeup I want to see every single detail you can dim it with the power button on the front the only thing with this is that it gets dirty so quick because the whole thing is a mirror I find myself grabbing it from the mirror and as you can see it has fingerprints I literally just cleaned it so it does kind of get fingerprints easily I don't know if it's the quality of the mirror but I mean it definitely comes in handy when traveling doing your makeup in bad lighting is just a big no-no especially for me I'm used to having like a ring light or vanity lights I personally don't like the mirrors that they have on Amazon with the flaps like they have so many different types of mirrors or like vanity mirrors for your table I just don't like the ones that open and close. I don't like anything too bulky or just too cumbersome. I like something very simple. So this one was the one that I found and I definitely love it and find it very useful. This is one of those items that you don't really need, but when you do have it, you're like, how can I live without it? So perfect for travel. And speaking of travel, this bag has become like my go-to toiletry bag. I was about to say that it's from Amazon, but obviously it's from Amazon. So this looks like just like a regular ordinary toiletry bag, but this fits so much. I just have a couple of products in here, but usually this is full to the brim. I mean, you can really pack things in here. It looks just so basic, but it's nice and deep and wide and it has like little side pockets. It has these pockets. I usually put like Q-tips in here. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually hang it up somewhere so you can have easy access. So it has those inner pockets, but it also has two outside pockets. And I'll put like a hairbrush in here and you even get a back pocket. I'll usually put my makeup wipes back there. It just fits so much you can use this to store your makeup when you're traveling or for your house like you could just put anything in here miscellaneous items you can put your jewelry up at the top I mean the possibilities are endless I feel but I use this for like my beauty products when I travel I travel with a lot I mean I carry a face mask maybe two lotion I mean I use a lot of products there's no surprise there this is the perfect product junkie toiletry bag this next item is super random but so necessary for an overpacker like me, raise your hand if you always go over the 50 pound limit. On the way here, my maleta was 54 pounds. They let me go, they let me slide, shout out to Delta, but 50 pounds is the limit and I always seem to go over it. So to make my life easier, I got this luggage scale. So basically it has this little hook. You hook it onto the handle of your luggage, but you turn it on and then you use the two sides of the handle bar to lift up your luggage. Now, if you're doing a 50 pound luggage, it could be a little bit hard, especially if you're short like me, like my luggages are pretty big, but I usually have someone else kind of either pick it up for me and then I'll look at how much it weighs. So you turn it on and it'll tell you how much it weighs. And it's very, very accurate. They'll charge you like $100 or $150 at the airport when you could just have a whole 
whole other luggage for like $30. So it just doesn't make sense. I'd rather have two 50 pound luggages and pay whatever, 60, than pay one bag, 150 plus the 30. This will weigh your luggage. And again, it's one of those things where you're like, do I really need that? But once you have it, you're gonna find yourself using it, especially if you travel a lot and you're an overpacker, especially also like international flights, they have some specific rules. Like for Dubai, they had like a 40 pound limit for certain airlines. So you wanna stay on top of that so you don't go over and have to spend extra unnecessary money. And this was like under $10. Pretty good if you ask me. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because I do have some other travel things, but I wanted to mention something that I pretty much use on a daily basis, and it is my AirPods case. I am obsessed with this AirPods case. I purchased a rubber one, like a silicone one for my cousin, and then I like looked at it. I was gonna buy it because it was cute, it was pink, but I just didn't like the material and it got like linty. It was just, it was not the best. So I ended up getting this one, which is a leather case, and it is quite hard to find in my bag because it's black, but you guys know I love black. I mean, clearly, it just keeps my AirPods nice and clean, dust-free, it looks sleek, and I can always find them. I never get confused if, you know, most of people have AirPods at the table. These are definitely mine and I clearly get a lot of use out of it because I use these every single day. The AirPods themselves are also amazing. I love them. I highly recommend them. If you haven't gotten them, get on it because I can never go back to having a cord. Like wireless is the way to go. Sticking to tech accessories. I've also talked about this on my channel. It was in my what's in my bag. I love this thing. They have different types. They have the booklet one with the little sleeves. I hate those. So I like the plastic SD card holders. I like that this one has front and back and it's just easy. It's see-through, you can just see your SD cards. And I know a lot of people get their SD cards on Amazon. I personally don't. I get them from Best Buy just to be safe. If I do say so myself, I'm very organized. I like keeping things in place. I like having everything in like a little home or a little bag. Things like this just make your life easier and more efficient and you don't lose them as often when you have something like this. So save yourself some money, invest in like an $8 organizer and I feel like in the long run you're gonna save yourself more money because I used to just have my SD cards floating around and I would always lose them so SD card holder is the way to go now speaking of SD cards I wanted to mention my camera case this isn't mine this one's actually Angie's so this is a Sony a5100 this is hers she has this really pretty like pink I don't even know what color this would be it's like a pinkish red she has this one on hers it's just rubber case that goes on the camera they have them for different types but I personally like this rubberized one they do have this leather case for this camera that covers the whole thing i just find it annoying because you have to take it out the case to use it this you just keep it on and this is really just going to protect it from like scratches and light drops this isn't going to protect it from like water damage or if it falls off like something really high but if it just lands on its side i feel like this does protect it but again it really just protects it from like light water drops or you know just like a scratch and also with the white sony from like makeup on your hands and just dirt i mean they probably have them for different cameras but i feel like for the sony a51 it's definitely useful and I know it's a pretty popular camera so if you have this camera especially the white one definitely get yourself a case so you can protect your investment speaking of cameras I have this little guy which is a remote this is super important for me to take pictures of myself for my thumbnails or to start the camera pretty much it's just the button that's on the camera but wireless and at first you're like okay that's not really important but trust me it is I film by myself I don't have a production crew I don't have an Instagram husband that's just gonna sit there and watch me film so it's important for me to have my camera so that I can take my own pictures okay plus I like kind of just filming by myself so this is important because I'm pretty far from the camera I'm pretty far from my computer so this will just help me take my thumbnail pictures and to start the camera and to turn it off once I got this my life was changed I didn't have to like click the button with my toe or do anything crazy or get up and have to put the self timer on so if you make YouTube videos on your camera definitely get yourself a wireless remote I'm telling you it's gonna make your life so much easier and that's that's the point right this next item isn't to make my life easier but I just really love doing this this is a hand and nail brush I've tried different nail brushes but I really like this one because it's pretty strong I guess because I don't have acrylics I have like pretty short nails but they're not super short like they have a little length on them they're pretty close to the skin so I feel like a lot of makeup gets stuck under there so I pretty much clean my nails every single time I wash my hands so I like to keep this near my sink and I just wash under my nails especially 
especially if you use a beauty blender I feel like you definitely get makeup under there which is just gross it just looks gross and it is gross I also like to clean on top of my nails I do get white gel pretty much year-round so it's important for me to keep them nice and clean and white and fresh a nail brush is definitely important if you've never used one trust me you're gonna love it okay girl or boy when I read reviews on this a lot of women were saying that they bought it for their husbands so that they can use because they're like construction workers or painters and this one has those heavy duty bristles it can take a beating it could take like that grime and dirt right out of those nails next up I have this Manfrotto mini tripod so basically this is sold as a tripod to be used you know as a tabletop tripod but I actually use it as a stabilizer so I'll put my camera on here now I won't put my big camera like the ADD that I'm filming on with right now but for the Sony or for my Canon G7X I'll just screw it on to the top of this and I'll use it as a stabilizer kind of like a selfie stick but pretty much it's easier to hold this as opposed to holding the camera the camera does get quite heavy when you're holding it up at an angle so this just makes it easier so you don't shake I have very shaky hands especially when I'm out and about I get really excited or like nervous so I tend to like shake so I like holding this instead because it just keeps my hand a little bit more steady the real stabilizers that they sell out there are pretty expensive I do want to invest in one eventually but for now this will do inexpensive and it does the job so I've been getting eyelash extensions for quite a few months now right now I don't have any and I literally look like Mona Lisa like I look like a bald eagle without them so I put on a strip for today but when I do have my eyelash extensions it's super important for me to keep them super clean this is the lash fresh eye and lash foaming clean wash if you're prone to like infections or your eyelids have been itching or something this is really good you can just rub it in with your finger it says but I like to use a spoolie and just kind of get any gunk out of the eyelashes and it just keeps them nice and fresh and fluffy and like when you first get that fill you know that really full look they just start to get like stringy and like a little spiky looking and I don't like that this will clean them and keep them nice and disinfected and that's really important you don't want an eye infection girl it's, I've been there and it's not cute it's itchy and it's my eyes are very sensitive and I get allergic reactions to everything pretty much on my eyes so it's important for me to have something like this to keep them disinfected and clean especially with extensions it's so easy to get an infection when you have eyelashes just because there's glue in there and there's like chemicals that are involved sometimes you don't even need to fill you just need to clean your lashes girl okay you don't want to be that girl out there with yesterday's eyeshadow on the extensions it is just not cute problem solved foaming eyelash extension cleaner so when I travel I like to keep everything in bags or organizers and these last couple of trips I really wanted to keep myself nice and tidy so this first organizer is the shoe organizer I currently just have one pair of heels in here but pretty much you can fit like one two three sometimes even four if they're like sandals you can fit different shoes in here if they're boots maybe just one maybe two sneakers but the point is you keep them in these bags you can hang them and it just keeps them dust free it keeps your clothes from getting dirty because it's kind of gross to put your shoes when you think about it next to your clothes so that comes in a set I believe of three or four I really like that one because it's just basically like a big ziplock bag for your shoes for my clothes I learned about this on YouTube packing cubes packing organizers so this is a packing cube but this one doesn't have the mesh front but it does come with a couple of different sizes I got the nude it comes in different colors as well but pretty much you pack your clothes in here so this one comes with I think four of these different sizes with like this mesh front so you can have one for your jeans one for your tops one for your undergarments I mean literally you can put anything in here bathing suits but these fit so much you would be surprised how much space you have in your bag when you use packing cubes it's hard to fit jeans if you just fold them one it just doesn't make sense so to fit more in there I learned the rolling technique so I pretty much will roll my clothes and just squeeze it in and it fits so much you can bring so much more which you have to be careful with because you can go over your limit like that so you don't have to organize it by clothing type you could even do outfits like two or three outfits in one bag and then two or three in another bag just to keep everything separated right now I don't have this one full full but usually I do like when I travel I'm like barely close these things but I just like seeing my luggage with all of my little bags nothing's loose that just gives me so much satisfaction and then when I get to where I have to go I'm like oh I need to get a top boom I grab my cube with my tops so I am now a 
cube packer. At first, I didn't think I was gonna like that. I was just like, it's not gonna fit much. I don't really like the idea, but I've been converted. The next item I actually have on, it is my top. I have this one in white and in black. It's basically this leotard. I can't really show you, but it's just a standard leotard. I was going out one day, I was here in New York, and I needed a plain white long sleeve top. Now, I don't really like wearing tops that don't tuck in, so I'm a huge fan of bodysuits slash leotards, whatever you wanna call them. And I got so many questions on my white one. I've worn it on Instagram, and I got so many questions like, where'd you get that top? Amazon girl, I believe under $20, or maybe it was $20. It's more of an in a pinch kind of shirt. It's not like the best quality, because I did notice after I wore it three times, I have like blue stains on the bottom from my jeans, but it served its purpose, let me tell you. I mean, you really can't tell that it has the stains. It just looks, it looks like high quality. The only thing is also with this one, I find that it catches a lot of lint. So whatever material it is, it's not like the best. But in a pinch, it definitely works. I love this neckline that it has. It's this like stretchy material. Now I think it's for ballet or like for dancers, but I like that. It gives that tight fitted look and I really like it. It's thick, it's not see-through and it just looks very sleek. I love this just with like jeans and heels. Like that's my outfit. I'm very simple or I'll throw like a jacket on top. Don't sleep on Amazon for your basics. I've never really bought like fashion items, but I know people do. I'm kind of tempted to. So if you have any like fashion items that you've bought on Amazon, let me know. I've been thinking of getting like liquid leggings, like the faux leather leggings on Amazon. I've been seeing so many people talk about them, but I'm scared because of like sizing and stuff. But definitely let me know if you've bought anything on Amazon fashion wise, or of course anything. Let me know of your Amazon favorites, but especially if it's like a clothing item because I'm kind of tempted. Maybe I'll do like an Amazon clothing haul or something. I don't know. Let's go on. I have some other items here that I don't have with me just because I'm in New York. I'm not home. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through them and I'll have them listed down below. So the next item that I love from Amazon is a sneaker protector spray. So it's from the brand Art of Crep. So I got this to protect my white Yeezys and it's basically just like a stain protector, like water resistance spray. Gray. You basically just spray your sneakers so that you can wear them out. So definitely love that, especially for white sneakers. I've gotten a couple of shower filters on Amazon. Now the water in Florida is terrible, horrible for my skin. I literally get eczema patches from the water in Florida. So I haven't found a good one for my sink, but I did find one that's really good for my shower. So I'll link it down below. I've tried a couple of different shower filters and the one that I, I'm gonna link is my favorite. I also get my makeup wipes sometimes on Amazon from the brand Kirkland, which is actually a Costco brand but sometimes I find them on Amazon. They're just really inexpensive wipes that don't irritate the skin, so that's that. The next item is super random, but I've also mentioned this before. It's dust off compressed gas. So it's basically, you probably have seen it to clean computer keyboards. It's just like a duster. It sprays this air out, like really, really cold burst of air, but I love using it to clean like my makeup area. So if you have like the acrylic organizers or anything that just gets dusty, if you have makeup that's out, you just kind of spray spray over it and all the dust just goes away it's amazing and in a pinch it works wonders for like small crevices and of course to clean just anything and like your keyboard but especially for makeup that's like a little tip that I have I also get my lid wipes on Amazon so when I was suffering from a lot of like inflammation in the eyes due to makeup what I did was bought these lid wipes on Amazon and they worked wonders it pretty much just fixed that area right up it does burn a little bit if it's raw but if you have like really sensitive eyelids and you find yourself getting allergic reactions definitely get these lid wipes it will just really cleanse that area disinfect that area they're individually wrapped which I love you can take a couple in your purse and just wipe your lids on the go so I love that I also get my L'Oreal gloss in nude ballet on Amazon so it's been kind of like discontinued and the only place I can find it is on Amazon so it's been sold out a couple of times but I love L'Oreal nude ballet it's such a beautiful glossy gloss I'm so mad that I didn't bring it with me on this trip but it just makes your lips look so juicy like so shiny it's incredible one of my favorite drugstore glosses of all time like ever ever if you like the nyx lip glosses you're gonna love l'oreal nude ballet clearly you can tell i'm very organized just by the way i talk but if you've seen my makeup collection video then you know everything has to have its place and so i discovered these acrylic organizers i usually get them from sony cosmetics or by allegory on amazon of course i'll have everything listed but i get the lipstick organizers like the liquid lipstick organizers on amazon i also get the ones for the powders it makes life so much easier.
year when you're organized. I mean, 2019, if it wasn't part of your resolutions, it should be. To me, being organized just means you're gonna be more efficient. And I feel like when you see something, you're more likely to use it. So I like color coding. I like having the names flipped up so I can see what I'm using. I get so much makeup that I need to keep it organized. If not, it's gonna be a nasty hoarding mess and my makeup's gonna go bad. And who wants that? Like I've seen some makeup collections and I'm like, why? Like why would you want all your lipsticks like piled on top of each other? It makes me so crazy. Like I wanna go there and just organize everything so you can see everything. My rule for like my room or like my life is to not pile anything on top of each other because what are the chances you're really gonna pick something up and look underneath? Like it just doesn't make sense. So I like having everything just one level. The way to do that is with acrylic organizers. So you can organize your powders, your eyeshadows, your creams, anything, your foundations, whether it's in a drawer or not in a drawer, acrylic organizers. And you can get them on Amazon, Amazon Prime it so you can get your life together, clean up your makeup one day, like whatever station you have, or even if it's just a bag of makeup, clean it up, clean each product, organize it better, organize your purse. Your life is gonna feel so much more peaceful, less chaotic when you have everything nice and clean. Cleanliness is close to godliness and I, I truly believe in that. So it makes my life better when I'm nice and organized. And last but not least, I have here Sweet Sweat. So if you haven't heard of Sweet Sweat, it's a brand. Basically, I get the Sweet Sweat belt and the stick. I'm traveling right now, so I don't have it with me, but it's this band that you put on your waist or they even have ones for arms, I think, or your legs, but it's gonna help you sweat so much. You're gonna see drops of sweat coming down when you take it off it is so satisfying to see your stomach full of water i mean it feels so good to just sweat in that area they have this thing called albaline or al yeah i think it's called albaline i used to use that pretty much it's like this stick that you put on it's kind of looks like vaseline like a glycerin kind of product you put it on wherever and it's going to really promote that sweat so i like to sweat especially when i'm in the gym i mean i naturally sweat a lot especially in the sauna it is amazing it feels so good so that completes my amazon must-haves my amazon favorites once i have my apartment i feel like i should totally do an amazon like apartment must-haves because there are so many things that i already know i want like that are in my list most of these items are inexpensive but they make your life so much easier it can feel like just unnecessary money to spend to get like gadgets or random things But it just gives you peace of mind pretty much. It saves you the chaos You guys always put me on to amazing items So definitely don't forget to let me know what your Amazon favorites are. So that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys